Someone asked me to be in hope. But what is hope? Is hope a feeling? Is it something we hold on to? How do you possibly visualize a feeling? A feeling of hope. Maybe we can't, but we can look at something and feel hopeful. But what makes us hopeful? Or who? When I think of hope, I get reminded of the moon, how it lives in the darkness of this universe, that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that we will eventually find a way out of our troubles with the light guiding us. But what exactly is this light? It is the light of our Prophet Muhammad wasallam. It is his light that gives us hope. It is his light that guides us, the light that shone to the sky above when he wasallam, was born. The light that was said to be more beautiful than the full moon when the companion looked at them both. With his presence, there is hope. And this was what inspired me to paint this picture. The song that kept repeating in my head was Tala Ala Madaru Alaina, a poem that was sang for the Prophet wasallam as he arrived at the blessed city of Medina. I could only imagine seeing the happy and brightly lit faces of those who welcomed their beloved. How lucky were they to have met and felt the presence of our Prophet Muhammad wasallam. But to you who are listening, to you who are looking for that hope, that hope is buried deep, deep within us. That love that the Prophet have towards us is there, waiting to be discovered. We've heard stories of how with the presence of the Prophet wasallam, wars ended and people got cured. And just with his gaze, hearts melted. Everyone wanted to follow his footsteps and his beautiful character. For how can we not want to be like someone who is truly loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We all want to be loved by Allah as well. And so we ask, how then can we feel his presence when he is no longer here? But why do we only limit ourselves to physical presence? One thing that the whole pandemic had taught me was to be spiritually present. To find connections beyond physical means. Like, let's say you have a meeting online. The person isn't exactly with you, but you can still see them, talk to them, and connect with them. Connecting spiritually, on the other hand, takes extra effort because we can't exactly see them. By the will of Allah, He has revealed that from us. But I guess that's the most beautiful part. Though you can't see, you can feel. Just like the wind, you can feel it but you don't see the air. But you know there's air around you because you believe what your science teacher taught you when you were 9 years old. So to find this unseen light, you have to find the source and how it still exists until today. The light of our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, exists in his descendants. It exists in gatherings of remembrance of him. It exists in his teachings through our teachers. It exists in the beautiful character portrayed by his ummah. It exists within us and we can only find it if we seek for it. If we only gather the courage to step within ourselves. Hope exists with the presence of our Prophet wasallam. The reason why we still believe, why we still hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is because of Him. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is hope.